Hi everybody, it's just time for another Monday moment. I'm speaking to you today from Green Island, a community of 8,000 people. And I'm outside the building for Green Island Baptist Church, which is one of the churches of our association. This place is burnt into my heart because it was a way back in the summer of 1996, 25 years ago, when a group of us got together to meet and pray over this community. The Lord led us to a church plant and on the first Sunday in October 1996, we met for the very first time. A few months after that, by God's grace, we constituted Green Island Baptist Church, just seven foundation members. A few years after that, we were able to buy a building that sat on this site. It was the old health center, and it was a place that people came to for medical provision. We built, uh, we renovated that building. People started to come for spiritual help. It served the church well for many years, until they were able to demolish it and build this fantastic building just a few years ago. This place is so much part of me as being a, a founder member and the first pastor. And it's been a joy to be able to preach here uh, and to see how the church is thriving and growing even through the pandemic. Green Island Baptist is one of over 50 churches that were established and planted by churches from the association or by Baptist missions in the last five decades. That's a good news story to tell other people. It reminds me of what the Apostle Paul says in Acts chapter 16 and verse five, for the churches were strengthened in the faith and grew daily in numbers. May God bless you as you serve him this week.